He was one of the first children, one of the first hemophiliacs to come down with AIDS. There was no education and hardly any information on AIDS at the time. Ryan White says he gets very lonely. He misses his friends. The 13-year-old was banned from school after it was found he was suffering from AIDS. And now his school have said they never want him back in class. I don't want nobody else to get it. And I can see where they're worried. But, I mean, if my doctor says it's okay to go back, I mean, I don't see no reason why I can't. I became the target of Ryan White jokes. Lies about me biting people, spitting on vegetables and cookies in grocery stores, and urinating on bathroom walls. Some restaurants threw away my dishes, and my locker was vandalized. Ryan really became famous because of his fight to go to school. When Ryan was diagnosed, they gave him only three to six months to live. But as he started getting healthy, he started to ask, Mom, I want to go to school. But the school board and the state would not allow it. The White family moved to Cicero, Indiana, and there, the community welcomed them. It was all because of a young girl named Jill Stewart, who was president of the student body, who decided to bring in medical experts and talk to the kids. The kids went home and then educated their parents. Ryan was then welcomed, and he got to go to school, proms, and dances. He even got a job. In the face of adversity, today lost his battle with AIDS. He died today of a respiratory illness related to the disease. The 18-year-old hemophiliac had been hospitalized in Indianapolis since March 29th. In 1991, in an effort to keep his memory alive, his friend Jill Stewart founded Indiana University Dance Marathon in his honor, raising $10,900 in their first year. IU Dance Marathon came together in 1991 because Jill Stewart was best friends with Ryan White. And he passed away shortly before he was planning to come to IU. She wanted to figure out a way to remember him and celebrate his life. Who are we? We are students. Leaders. Change makers. We are making a difference right now. Fundraising. Advocating. Providing support. For the kids at our local children's hospital. We are taking action. And making a tangible impact in our communities. Every dollar we raise stays here. Right here. To provide the equipment, services, research, and treatments needed to help change kids' health and change the future. We are united as this generation fighting for the next. We develop leaders. Build community. We create a brighter future. For every child. And we have fun doing it. Being a part of this movement makes an impact on students who bring together their campus community to raise funds year-round for their local Children's Miracle Network Hospital. I started Dance Marathon because I wanted to leave a legacy of compassion and human kindness here on campus. I wanted to be a helping hand to the future of my community and nation. Dance Marathon has impacted my college experience in a way that I never could have imagined. I think that every student should get involved with Dance Marathon at their campus. It can be really hard to find your place, but as soon as you join a Dance Marathon movement, you're immediately part of a bigger community and a bigger family. Regardless of your background, you have the power to make such a big difference in the lives of these families and patients at local hospitals. Dance Marathon instilled in me skills that are important to post-college career, and so I will always cherish those in, in terms of project management, time management, conflict resolution, interpersonal relationships, uh, the list goes on, but Dance Marathon has been very instrumental for me and instilled in me confidence and the skills to succeed post-graduation.
Probably one of the greatest moments of my entire life was when I got to visit my own local Children's Miracle Network Hospital. Going throughout the hospitals and seeing like, this is specifically because of us. Local hospitals without Dance Marathon, they would only get the basic medical. Some of the treatments are extremely intense. The intricacy of the equipment can get really costly. By fundraising, you're able to help keep kids safe and happy. One person can't do everything, but everyone can do one thing. So I was really happy that Dance Marathon gave me the opportunity to do that one thing. I hope that people who listen to this, who have ever had doubts about the power of Dance Marathon and the power of the Children's Miracle Network know that those sick kids are there and the things that you do are truly impacting one life at a time. My two children are Max and Adrian and this will be our sixth year with Dance Marathon. With Max, there were no surgical options left. World-class care. Could not ask for more without those Children's Miracle Network dollars and Dance Marathon. Life-saving equipment would not be available. The chair that I sleep in would not be available. <laughs> Giving that money so that a helicopter can go fly and get your child a heart. I mean, how could you ever put a price tag on that? It's gonna happen for him. We're just so grateful. <laughs>